does what I have serve me? Like, does it make sense to be in my life? They're just these cute, like, grandma looking pants. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it because my mom gave it to me, so. Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Welcome to the vlog. So my name is Catherine. If you're new here and if you're not new, welcome back to the channel. So we finally got a dresser and I have five drawers and they are like two are for athletic wear specifically, but the rest of them are just kind of really full. And I feel like it's things that I don't grab for often. So I kind of just want to declutter minimize um every few months i go through my things and just kind of try to decide what i need and what i don't need i hope you enjoy the vlog definitely stay tuned and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see it's gonna be a two-year-old chicken nugget lion baby fur baby but yeah okay tea in a bit okay guys so i did a little tidy up of the kitchen wiped on the counters um and i made myself a salad this is just a caesar salad kit I have been like on such a salad kick recently. I don't know, the past few weeks, like I've been craving salads. Hey guys, so I just washed and cleaned my water bottle. Here's your reminder to clean your water bottle that you use all the time. I talked about this one, I think, in Monday's video, and I got it from Target. So I really like it. It has a straw and a chug lid, so if you can kind of see right there, but it's literally so easy to drink out of. But honestly, so easy and convenient. And it's got the handle, so you're good. Um, I don't think it sweats. I don't keep it super cold though. I don't put ice or anything. I just put cold water. Um, but we are in my closet now. Probably not the most organized, but um, we did the best we could. I've got Joshua's stuff on top, my clothes on the bottom. Every few months I like to go through my stuff and just kind of decide what I don't want to keep, what I'm not really wearing. Or I do one of these like closet cleanouts or declutterings and I'm like, okay, let me save this for the next one and see if I'm going to wear it. And then if I don't end up wearing it the next time I declutter, it's time to get rid of it um, because it's not useful to me anymore and it could be useful to somebody else. I'm getting rid of this tank top. Um, I just don't really love this color on me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I really don't reach for it. I actually never wore this, um, but I just don't really... That's cute. I might keep it. This is a really cute top, but honestly, I never wear it. Um, I have maybe worn this once in the past, like, two or three years if i'm being honest i've held on to it though because i'm like it's so cute i really like it it looks super small but it's just like a little tank it is a really nice bodysuit but i don't reach for it often enough so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it let me know how you do with clothing pieces and having an attachment to them so there are certain pieces in my wardrobe that i keep because it holds like a certain memory and i just i think back to a certain time whenever i wear that clothing item so let me know if you are like that or if you have no sentiment towards any of your clothes I've had i think since i turned 22 so i am 25 now i think i've had this for three years i think it's a cute top i just don't really reach for it that often it is white which i love I love neutrals, but I don't really reach for it that often. I'll keep this one and I will decide at another time. I really want to say that I bought this in 2020 because I have bought a few like cute spring pieces. So that's how the shirt looks. I think it's super cute, more of a sheer shirt. So like you can kind of see through it and I don't like that. Um, so I really don't think I've ever worn this. It's adorable, but it's got to go. And this is just another one of those things of like, it's cute, but does it make sense to keep it and keep taking up space? I swear, I feel like I'm probably never going to get rid of. My mom gave me this for Christmas maybe a year or two ago. Um, it might've been two years ago because I feel like she gave this to me whenever we got Ollie that year, so 2020. Um, but it is just, I feel like it's such a cute piece and it kind of reminds me of the 90s, just like a throwback piece. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of it because my mom gave it to me, so. Well, like these are probably two of my favorite jackets um not actually uh, two out of my top four the patagonia jacket i really like this one and then this vineyard vines i got this at goodwill for like 
10 bucks maybe 15 bucks something like that um so i really like these this is another chat kit that i absolutely love i got it from plato's closet it is way too big on me it's a large uh, i wish it was a medium because i have a medium in this jacket in gray and i also really like that one but it is just so cozy like the coziest thing you can put on it's so great i found these levi's that i thrifted and they are so cute they're like the perfect uh color wash the only thing is they're a few sizes too big so i'm gonna see if i can take them to a um like a seamstress and see if i can get them tailored to me yeah, i think that would be really cool um I would love to be able to make the sewing adjustments myself, but I'm way too afraid that I'm gonna mess them up. And honestly, I really don't wanna sew with denim using my um, machine. I'd have to get like a specific needle for it. And honestly, I just don't feel comfortable sewing with denim to possibly mess up these really great jeans. I can't, I can't remember how much I got them for, but I know that they were really affordable and I got them from Plato's Closet. I picked out some dresses that I'm gonna be getting rid of. Same dress, super cute. It's actually a jumpsuit type of thing, um, but it's that same material from one of the shirts that I showed you guys earlier. However, I just have not reached for them, so it makes no sense to keep them in my closet. And I've had them for, I think, a few years. I think I've had both of these for a few years. Really cute, but it's time for them to go. It's just a dress that was from Target, but I got it at Plato's Closet, but I really, I found that I don't really like the material anymore. It's just, um, I don't really like how the material feels. I am so sad. I bought this with like the highest hopes. I had the highest expectations for this. I thought it was so cute. And I put it on and it just does not look good on me. Um, and I'm really sad because I really liked it. And it just kind of gives me like going to a pottery class vibes, you know? Like that's kind of the vibes that I got from it. But it didn't work out for me and one thing i want to note about all this stuff that i'm giving away is i put everything in a bag or a basket and i have so many sisters like so many so i definitely give my sisters like first dibs on whatever i am decluttering and i'm like hey like do you want anything if not then i'll either donate it or sell it i have had this for years um it's just a i think it's show me your moo moo bridesmaid dress i've had this for so long like when i got married and was looking into bridesmaids dresses i wore this in hawaii on our honeymoon and i loved it i thought it was so beautiful but it is very long i had to use a clothespin to kind of keep the top closed up here so it just doesn't make sense for me to keep it um but it kind of you know it has memories but it's something that i need to let go of has some sentiment to it but i'm gonna get rid of it because i haven't worn it in a very long time but it's just this hawaii shirt and this is where joshua and i got engaged and where we also went on our honeymoon so maui has like a very special place in our hearts but i'm getting rid of this um especially because i don't wear it but what i am keeping from that trip is this shirt i think it's so cute and i do wear this even if it's just to sleep so i'm keeping this for sure so I just kind of decluttered my drawers and just separated, I mean like a t-shirt drawer and then a bottom drawer where I have just like pants, shorts, and then my athletic wear is separate. Um, so maybe in another vlog, if you guys are interested, I can show you how I organized my drawers. Um, but I figured that this was kind of enough for now. I had this dress for years as well and I've worn it for multiple birthdays. Um, it's just this little floral dress and I love anything floral or with flowers so this one's kind of hard to get rid of I've gotten a good use out of this dress but i just think it's time for it to go it's not and i also want to note that no one is telling me to declutter or get rid of my things it's just a practice that i picked up from back in 2020 um, when the pandemic hit because i was looking into minimalism what that looks like what that means and i really started to try to have that mindset and perspective of it does what i have serve me like does it make sense to be in my life is it just clutter um am i just keeping things to keep things so i started asking myself those type of questions whenever it came to my clothing or just things that i have and over like i mean i have gotten rid of so much stuff and yes you may think of oh wow i've gotten rid of so much stuff like that's not 
good like you know it makes sense to keep the things that you've invested in but at the same time you get to a point where those things no longer serve you they can be more useful to somebody else it makes sense to reduce that clutter reduce that visual clutter and then also just i mean it takes up space um like mentally too just also having a lot of options and i know this i don't know i hope that this makes sense but um challenging yourself to reduce how many options you have is something that i feel like is very helpful i definitely love the practice of minimalism the benefits um i don't even know if you would call it a practice but just that type of lifestyle but i know that that looks different for everybody so I don't embody like a full-on minimalistic lifestyle, I definitely don't, um, but I try to keep those like specific thoughts in mind. And I'm just going to show you guys what I got rid of and I also want to show you guys these two pants that I thrifted before we head on out. So the first one is this pair. I feel like they don't, the camera's not doing them justice, but they're just these cute like grandma looking pants. I don't even know. I did wash them, but I forgot to take this tag off. Um, I got them from Salvation Army, I think, and I just love them so much. These, I think I just need to bring in the waist a little bit. Uh, they are kind of big, so they're going to be more of an oversized fit, but I really like them. I thought that these linen pants were so cute, and honestly, I feel like this would be a good gift. So thrifting a gift is something that I've done with my siblings and a few other family members, and I feel like it's just such a great way to kind of reduce like having to buy something brand new but what you bought for them was intentional and it was a good way to like recycle or repurpose an item so another thing we're getting rid of is this suitcase it has been with me on so many trips and i seriously loved it but it is one of the wheels is messed up so we're probably not going to be going on a big trip for a while so it's okay to get rid of this and then when the time comes, whenever we're going on a bigger trip, I can get a regular size suitcase that I know will last me for a long time. Too much on my brain, but got it good, can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind, and time's hard to find. What's a girl gotta do to catch up? I wanted to have a little snack so I made myself some toast and I accidentally burnt it on this side um, but I'm just gonna put some peanut butter on it and this is a new peanut butter so all of the oils kind of at the top I just get the one from Target um, but let me know if you like peanut butter toast with honey and cinnamon I feel like it's so good it's such a yummy snack Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps support the channel. And if you're not subscribed already, I'd love for you to join the fam and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day.